There is an opportunity to expand humanity beyond the borders of land. You know, out on the ocean, we are building vessels that are drastically lowering operational costs. So we are enabling a whole new kind of transportation network for the waterways. Hey, I'm Sampriti, and I'm the founder and CEO of Navia. What got you into boats? It wasn't really it's boats in particular. I think I like solving hard problems. When you solve them, they fundamentally change how we perceive the world. You know, I used to be an aerospace engineer and it was at MIT I started building underwater drones. And that's when my attention turned towards maritime and I see like waterways are severely underutilized in coastal cities because we haven't figured out how to move on waterways at a cost effective way and also conveniently. So you see an opportunity for a whole new kind of transportation that has not been possible before. That's really what uh, got us to start this. So that's the water taxi that you have today. What's cool is that you will see it tastes of like a normal boat and there's a lot of weight and the weight disappears and then you're four feet above the water. But we're fine. So you can see that we are like... Very smooth. Four, yeah. So you're building about three, four feet up shops. We, you know, just went with those shops and you don't feel anything. So it's the longest range electric boat in the world and it's America's first all electric kind of wild boat. Think about South San Francisco, which is a home of like over 200 companies and 20,000 people are, you know, going in to work there. There is a big housing crisis in the Bay because the area around it is so expensive. So if you want to live in Alameda, which is 30% cheaper, it's one and a half hours on the land to go by car in rush hours. If you use a boat like ours, it's 20 minutes. I think the key to solving the housing crisis in the Bay is enabling easily accessible, affordable transportation, really turning waterways to highways. And that is a three-phase problem. The first is a technology problem, which we solve a best electric boat, longest range, that meets the performance and specs. The second part is the production problem, that is our current focus. And the next one would be the operations problem. It's a little bit of a first principle approach here, right? You're looking at uh, evolution, electrification, cheaper, faster computing and sensing, and scalable manufacturing. So what does the world look like when you apply the same technology stack to very time? For boats to become electric, to actually get the range you need, the biggest problem with electric boat is the range. I mean, hydrofoil is the way to do it. Why waste your efficiency by pushing water when you can fly above the water? Go on the back, you see like big enough split. Wow, okay, that's nuts. So you're turning in place right now. Oh, that's nuts. Hurry. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Yep. You know what can do that. That's so strange. This makes docking so easy. You just dock the boat in like 30 seconds from... 30 seconds. You say where you're going to go. It gives you the map. It just tells you like how the tide and everything fancy your trip, how much battery you will need. That's like taking one more thing to worry about from your mind. I have a very different background. I don't match the typical very uh, deep dick <laughs> white guy founder, right? I grew up in India and I did not have all this high tech. I didn't even have a computer until I was 20. Being a bit of an unusual person, you're often met with skepticism. Lots of the times there's lots of rejections, lots of people just, you know, may not believe in what you do. You get into the game not expecting it to be fair. People always get caught up with the big idea and they think, oh, that's too audacious, that's too hard. But what's the first thing to do the one boat? One boat at a time, one route at a time. What does it take? Then you're looking at a smaller chunk. And that's cool. That when you get people together to, you know, be in it. So you're a small, close-knit team. You need that. People who believe in you, people who will go the extra mile. Chris here, right? He, he stays up with me until 3 a.m. He does, like, whatever it takes, let's do it. And uh, that's what you need. I think sometimes it's hard. It requires so much work. And you're like, man, I have this huge vision. Just looking around and knowing that everything is built by people. If it has been built by people, why can't we build it, right? So when I'm in the bay and I see this is all empty and I think like, if I could move people and goods on the water, this could be another highway. If you can move things on the water at the cost, need, convenience of land, you can do it. And that's the most exciting thing. Close your eyes and see that the world can look different. If you make waterfront accessible, every marina can be a transportation hub. So we just signed our production factory. Okay, you have built a boat. Now, how do you build this boat at a cost and scale so that these boats can be everywhere in the world and really we can build this transportation network? That's a very important problem to solve before you go out and start scaling this. Let's do it, let's make it happen, and let's go fast at it. It's crazy, it's audacious, but it's possible. It's just solving a bunch of very real problems, just one after another. You know, it's not futuristic sci-fi. It's, we have the boat, it works. 
everyone, thank you for watching the season opener of season two. Oh my gosh, like I wanted to feature them as the opener and I was super pumped when very last minute I asked if we could and Sam Preeti said yes. A year and a half ago, the boats didn't even exist. Now they have three of them and they've been testing them like thousands of hours. Despite everything, there's still hope for San Francisco. People like Sam Preeti and her team give me hope. People who come here with a crazy work ethic, big dreams and the motivation and mission to go tackle it are the reason I still have hope in this place. Really happy, despite what happened to me earlier this week. We got the episode out. Hell or high water. The goal is a year of episodes, right? I'm really excited for season two and the future of S3 and the future of San Francisco. We're going to fix it. Thanks for watching. Keep building the future, and I'll see you next week.